you know, so today we're just trying to figure out the next group of guys because at 9 a.m. tomorrow, everyone's going to be free. All the players that haven't signed back with their teams will be free agents. And so um, I'm hoping that in the next 24 hours, we can bring back some players that were here initially and, uh, you know, we're able to bring back to, you know, maybe it's a better fit for them with our team now. Talking to Bro, see what his deal is. I know Ryan sent an offer to him, so we'll see. Yeah, so Delvin's been out of football. Uh, he's he, he took the 2021 season off. People would call him a shutdown corner. That's how he was viewed as when he played in Hamilton. If you have guys like like him can go out on the corner and you know that he can handle covering a guy, then that's obviously uh, big for us. Hello. Hey, buddy. Hey. Okay, so. Uh... I verified their latest vaccination for Delvin Brown. I talked to Rob. He said he's got no other medical conditions that he's aware of. Uh, I, will, I will send you the offer that I just sent him. Okay. And that way. Yeah. And you're supposedly Delvin Bro has agreed. <laughs> so, I wonder why this guy came out of nowhere, but sometimes it happens. The thing I've learned about the last two years is to expect the unexpected. That's a guy that was a surprise, but again, I think it's all of us doing our homework and making sure we're staying in contact and networking and doing all those things. How's it going, sir? Are you filming me now? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, hey, how's it going, sir? How are you? Good, good to see you. You got all your Vancouver stuff on. Kato, give me that in 07. Cool. Yeah. There you go. What's going on, sir? It's good to see you. How you doing? Good. He wanted to come back home to play in front of his family and friends to, you know, wind down his career. But he's the first guy we spoke to on the first day of free agency. We were excited to bring in some uh, solid kicking and something that's going to uh, solidify that position, and he certainly does that. You're happy? I'm extremely happy, man. I haven't, yes. haven't slept in the last couple days. My family's pumped too. Everyone's pumped. So right here? Yep. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. Good to have you back. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. All right, there you go. There Welcome. It is. Thank wow. you. Pumped. Absolutely pumped. What is everyone? Hi, everybody. <laughs> Are you filming my dog? I, I, I like the local guys more than all. I mean, I'm, I'm a local guy myself. I grew up in this, this area. So um, me personally, I like the local guys. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether you're local or not. Like I said earlier, when you're stepping on the football field, the guys, whether you're from southern Florida or, you know, southern Ontario or Surrey, B.C., it does not matter. What matters is to compete at the highest level to win in professional football. I'm really excited to be home, and uh, it's been 12 years since I've been here. Yeah. Make a call here and there, but it's pretty much stand there and watch. Thanks, bud. Yeah, Good thank you. you. Yes, sir. I'm excited. You're a great piece to this uh, young, upcoming football team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See you, man. You know, in this in this business, you gotta you gotta step right up to the table, get the contract out, and then sign, and then you're on to the next guy. Everything going along okay? Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. So I got bets back. I got. Uh, we're like college recruiters, our whole coaching staff and our personnel staff is, you know, we're working on selling these guys on why they should uh, come to BC and money obviously speaks very loudly, but also there's also a happiness factor and a fit factor where they can come in here and be a part of the team.
get them back. Yeah, of I gotta wash this and get them back. We all have the great expectations. We all think that uh, Nathan's going to be the guy, but you know you have to bring in competition. At the end of the day, it is professional football. All right, here's our man, and he's on the move. Neil, good to see you. Good to see you, bud. Welcome. It all worked out. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. Yeah. I had said from the get-go we wanted someone with CFL experience. Quarterbacking is one of the hard things to come up to the CFL if you have not played Canadian football before. And so totally comfortable with Nathan, but we needed another guy that we were comfortable with too. And then Michael O'Connor ended up working out that way. Appreciate well, it. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Appreciate Good. it. Now you don't have to go anywhere for training camp other than Canada's. Yeah, love that. Good. Love that. No, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. Yeah, I played college football at UBC four years out there. It was a great run. And, you know, we were fortunate enough my rookie year there to win a Vanier Cup, so that was pretty cool too. Um, and excited to be back. Vancouver is like a second home to me. Throughout the free agency process, he was telling me all the options he had and everything. And he would ask me questions about BC and stuff like that, about the coaches and what the system was and all that. You know, but like I say, really happy for Nathan you know, that the lines have went in that direction. At the end of the day, you know, my job is simple. Just do what I can to help the team win a great cup and, and, and whatever that role is, I'll do to the best of my ability. Recording in progress. Okay, uh, development in Toronto. Your thoughts on going two Canadian quarterbacks? Well, I think it's a neat, I don't want to, dismiss it and call it a side note, but that wasn't our primary motivation. While I do think it is a cool thing that it's two Canadian quarterbacks, the primary motivation was to find, uh, um, you know, the best combination that's going to help our football team win. Um, the, the two quarterbacks and Sean all live here year round. They're part of the local. There we go. Yeah, there's three keys to the off season, or three major things as far as the roster. So one is free agency, which obviously is happening right now, and that's key to get a group of guys that can help you, which we do. Luchez is just an excitable defensive back that's going to bring um, explosion and physicality. Woody was a guy that we signed because we think he can pass rush. He could go win a one-on-one -on -one matchup without it having to be schemed up perfectly or things like that. So Stove, yeah, just with nickname alone. Hey, I, I tell you what, he's a guy that when we played the uh, Winnipeg Blue Bombers the last few years, we couldn't block him. Matthew, I like his high motor. He's a uh, hard worker. We had David, he's a lunch pail type defensive lineman that gets to the quarterback and has really developed. So Sean, uh, just to have the stability at the field goal kicking position is huge. Yeah, so Delvin's been out of football. You know, having that experience and having a guy like him on our football team is going to make us better. Michael O'Connor, excited about him. You know, he's a guy that's played Canadian football in college um, and also had been with Toronto and Calgary and has gotten some really good coaching and knows the game. And then the next thing's going to be the CFL draft, which we all know that the, your Canadian content is, uh, is the lifeblood of your roster in the CFL. So um, that'll be the next step. And then, like you said, um, our personnel department, finding new people um, and uh, from the United States, because we get our Canadians from the draft, is, is that there's always going to be a guy or two that come in, maybe three, sometimes four, that um, becomes a, you know, a household name that, that makes big plays. And so it's gonna be no different this year. And you wanna to try to hit on those three things, the free agency, the draft, and bringing in your own new guys. And if you can obviously hit on a few of those guys in all, all of those phases, then good things happen.